Dennis writes to me from where I don't know. <laughs> he says, hey, Paul, many amplifiers, especially those in powered subs and car audio, have a circuit that senses a signal, turns the amp on and off after a preset time of no signal, turns the amp off. Mm, yeah, okay. What is involved in such a circuit? I is there more than one way of doing it? Ah, well, yeah, the auto on circuit. It's not very complicated. Um, so how is it typically done? Well, the times that I've designed those, and I'm sure it can be done any number of ways, but the few that I have designed were really simple. Basically, I took an op amp and I turned it into a basically a, a, a low pass filter and at the output uh, put a diode. So if you think about what happens here, you are constantly sensing the output of, let's say, a preamp or however the signal is getting into your subwoofer or whatever. So you're constantly sensing it. You have your op amp, its input is connected right to that output. Now what you don't want, you don't want to have noise or something triggering it. So you kind of filter all that out. And that's where that high pass filter comes in. I want to filter out noise and little stuff, okay? So that's basically a capacitor across the feedback and, and a resistor in the feedback network of the op amp. And it's got reasonably high gain, okay? So it's on there all the time. Then once something goes above a certain threshold, so you've got to set the threshold, let's say 0.01 volts. So something that isn't noise, and we've eliminated that with the filter, if it goes, you set the level, wherever, um, if it rises above that, then the output goes positive, all right? And instead of going back negative, we've got a diode, which only lets positive voltage through. And at the output of the diode, we have a little holding capacitor. So it, the signal comes in, it rises up, sends a positive signal through, it jumps up, and that triggers a relay, whether it's solid state or mechanical or whatever you've got in there to hold it. So it's a pretty simple circuit. Op amp, low pass filter around the op amp, diode with a capacitor, a holding capacitor at the output, and then some kind of uh, afterward, that's, that's your sensor. And after that, you wanna have a timing circuit so it doesn't stutter, right? So it turns on and then you say, okay, now the relay stays open and with a little logic that you can do with, oh gosh, from, they usually do it with a microprocessor. It says, once I see this trigger, stay on for five minutes. And then it keeps looking. And as long as there's music, it'll keep resetting. And then s finally, when there's no music, meaning there's no positive voltage, it drops down to negative or to ground, it waits five minutes and it shuts down the relay. So there's your little do-it-yourself project. <laughs> okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you later.